I mean, I don't really know what I expected my penis to look like. It's quite difficult to imagine what your penis will look like when you've never had one before. Hey folks, it's Finn. Welcome back, lovely people. Thank you for tuning in to another video. Now, lots of you will probably know <laughs> if you've watched our recent live stream that we are moving, which is why this room looks so empty and sounds so echoey. I'm really hoping that the sound's okay. And on to today's video. So today's video topic is phalloplasty and something I am commonly asked is, how do I feel about my final result? Am I happy with my final result? Is it up to my expectations? Is it what I imagined? Generally, am I happy with my penis? And we'll get to that in a minute, but first, if you are new to my content, then a very, very big welcome. My name is Finn, and here on this channel, I share my life in recovery as a gay transgender man. So expect to see lots of content around gender transition, mental health, recovery, and LGBT life. If you haven't already subscribed, I'd love it if you would. It's easy to do, just click that little button. And if you don't want to miss out on all of the regular Finn installments, then do hit the notification bell or sign up to my newsletter, which you will find in the description below, and then you won't miss out on anything ever again. So does my phalloplasty result live up to my expectation and what I imagined? Well, to be honest, it was really difficult in the beginning to imagine what my penis would look like and for me, it wasn't really an imagination of a penis, of how it would look, but more how that penis would make me feel, if that makes sense. That I would have a penis that I would be happy and pleased to look at, and that other people that I was intimate with would equally be happy and pleased to look at my penis. I think for me, it was all about just having a penis that didn't look like a Frankenstein monster, because this was what was being put out there at the time when I first began my lower surgery journey, it was all these stories about phalloplasty penises looking horrific and like monsters, and that's all I'd heard, and I was beginning to realize that that wasn't true. But in my mind, it was really hard to imagine what it might look. So for me, as long as it didn't look like that, and it looked like something that made me happy, that's what I wanted. So when I very first began, researching phalloplasty and I'd realised that a good result was possible, there still weren't that many pictures available to see. My consultant at St Peter's Andrology in London in the UK showed me some pictures of phalloplasty. Some of them weren't that far off from surgery so they were still fresh so a lot of that wasn't always helpful. And there were some really, really kind trans people in the community who were sharing their results and that really helped. But again, it was really few and far between and seeing so few phalloplasty penises, it was really hard to know what to expect. I mean, I really didn't know what to expect about penises in general because it had been quite a while since I'd been in close proximity to a penis. Which I know it's now hard to imagine from this fabulously gay face of mine. But prior to transition, I'd been identifying as a lesbian and dating women. And it's only midway through my transition that I came out as gay. So I'd gone a long time without seeing a penis. So my research was a few phalloplasty results and lots of looking at different penises on the internet. And I was very aware though that phalloplasty wouldn't be a cisgender penis. So in some ways, looking at penises wasn't very helpful. But after a good deal of research looking at penises, that's the kind of research I like, from the phalloplasty results I'd seen and the cisgender male penises I'd seen, I knew that it, this wasn't going to be a Frankenstein monster and that it was incredibly close that phalloplasty did give incredible results that weren't that dissimilar to a cisgender penis. So heading into stage one, I was feeling as confident as I could be that I was going to be satisfied with the result. But nothing prepares you <laughs> for waking up and seeing your new penis between your legs. I was really nervous. I wondered if I'd kind of feel quite odd, if it would look strange, if it would take some time to get used to. But in all honesty, when I came round from stage one and I saw my penis for the first time, 
it just looked like it had always been there. It never looked to me like a half finished penis. And it is because phalloplasty takes at least three stages over a number of years. My phalloplasty surgery took six surgeries over three years. And you know, at that very first stage, he's just a sausage shape. There's no definition to him or anything because that doesn't come to a later stage. But even then, he just looked like a penis. And even at that early stage, it was far greater than I'd expected it to, to look. And I was really, really happy. I think what really helped me was keeping the mindset that this wasn't an unfinished penis. It was my penis evolving. And so I could look at him with love and see this beautiful thing growing as he began to take shape. And at stage two, when I had my glands created, your knob end, he looked wonderful after that. To then see he had a proper defined head, he looked more like a penis, it was great. And then obviously towards the end, as I had scrotoplasty and the erectile device, and eventually to see him finished, it was amazing to wake up from the final surgery, and that's it, to see him done. So now at the end of my phalloplasty journey, I honestly can say that yes, I'm 1000% happy with my result. It actually does far exceed my expectations. If I look back at what my expectation was compared to what I actually have, I wanted to just have a good enough penis, a penis that made me feel comfortable. The penis I have does far more than that. It brings me so much more joy than I could ever imagined. It makes me feel more comfort in my body than I could ever imagined. And I always like to stress this point. I am not happy with my penis because I have a completely perfect centerfold spread penis. My penis is far from perfect. My penis has imperfections, he has bends, he has scars, he has uneven bits, he has wobbly bits. You know, he has all of these flaws. And actually, that is what makes him perfect. Because this is what makes me just like any other man. Ask any man and they'll all likely have some issue with their penis. Whether it's too small, too thin, too fat, whatever. It's a common human trait that we're often not happy with our bodies and men often have a lot of insecurities about their penis. And this was never about having this perfect penis. This was about having a penis that was comfortable for me. And actually the fact that I can look at my penis and go, oh God, he's got a really strange bend or, you know, this bit looks strange. That's like every other man. Everyone does that, you know? So in, in every respect, having these little flaws is what makes my penis unique. Because actually, if you look at penises, which I highly recommend you do, they come in all manner of shapes and sizes and colors and all of these things. And you realize that there isn't one version of a penis. They look incredibly different across the board. And actually that's the beauty of phalloplasty, that you all get your own unique penis, just like every other man does. So it was, my penis is perfect because he is unique, just like every other penis. Uniqueness is what makes perfection. People always want to ask me to compare phalloplasty with a cis male penis. And I really think that that's impossible to do because exactly why, like I've just said, all penises look different. With a phalloplasty penis, of course, some of the differences are about the colour. You'll often see phalloplasty penises tend to be just one colour because they're made with your skin. Whereas cis male penises, the tip will often be a very different colour. There's also things like veins throughout the shaft that aren't present on a phalloplasty penis. Although you can actually have tattooing to create veins should you wish. I'm not bothering with that because it doesn't bother me at all. So those things are different. But all it does is make it unique and different, just in a different way than all the other unique and different penises. And when it comes to other people looking at it, people say it's a penis. It doesn't look any different, really. It's only on close inspection that you would even notice these things. And I'm certainly not concerned about it. I've got, I'm dressed in front of people in the gym and pool and so on. You know, I use it at a urinal and it's just not an issue. So those little things that do signal it as different to a cis male penis, the lack of veins and the lack of different colours, are so minor. And what does my partner think? My partner is cis male and he is gay. He's always been gay, he's only ever been with men. 
and actually for me, for him to completely accept me as the trans person I am and to accept my penis is a real validation of my maleness. He's always said that there are some times my penis can feel different, but that actually he's, when he's been with other people, other people's penises have felt different, just for different reasons. And that my penis looks different, but then again, so have lots of other penises that he's been with. So it's really hard to say that it's different. According to my partner, it's just a penis. You know, nothing about it stands out as complete, being completely wildly different to any other penis. It just has its differences in its own way as any other penis has differences compared to other penises. Did that make sense? And did I say the word penis enough there? He loves my penis. It works. It does the job. We're both happy. But is your penis real? Now that one I get asked a lot. And to be honest, it's not by the trans community. It is by trolls who are looking through my videos and trying to insult me by saying things like, it isn't a real penis. Well, he's not a fairy tale creature either, is he, love? Of course he's real. He's in the world. He exists. He's made of flesh and blood. My living flesh and blood. He has an artery through him that pumps blood and life into him. He's warm, he's cold, he's part of me, he was made by me, he's real. I wasn't born with him and he's been configured out of parts of me, but that does not make him any less real. So the short answer to my waffling here is absolutely I am happy with my end result. My end result far exceeds my expectations and I honestly could not be happier. My penis makes me smile every day. It's key to remember that surgery doesn't cure everything. The uncomfortability in our bodies brings up a lot of not accepting ourselves or who we are. So when we go through lower surgery, we also have to work on our own self-acceptance because unfortunately, as trans people, we are always going to have a level of having to accept what we can't have. With lower surgery, it becomes clear that this can get us really close to what we would have had had we been born the gender we are. But it will always come with sacrifices, scars, a body that looks different, a body that works different. So it's about working on that self-acceptance of that whilst going through lower surgery that then come together when you finish your lower surgery journey and this self-work, they come together and with that work and the surgery completed, we can then feel much more comfortable and happy with the result we have. Now I have shared my entire phalloplasty journey from decision making to completion, including all of my self-awareness and self-acceptance work that I've done throughout the process. And that is now available as a memoir. It's called Top to Bottom, a memoir and personal guide through phalloplasty, and that is available to buy now. I've also created some very personal videos where I share my finished phalloplasty result. because so I realize how useful it is for people to see what you can expect from this kind of surgery. Links to my memoir and to my exclusive private videos can be found in the description below. I really hope that was helpful folks. If you have any comments or questions, or any suggestions for videos you'd like to see me cover, then please do let me know in the comments section below. Thanks so much for watching. Take care of yourselves. See you next week.